Jeremiah, you must keep the ways of your father. We are not to mix with the outside world. We are to wait for the second coming of our Lord. Do you understand? The world is an evil place, son. Nobody knows about us out here. Nobody ever will. This will be a hard life, but it's so very worth it. The end of the journey is what we seek. Your father made this for you. He meant to give it to you on your birthday. Never got a chance to tell you either, but your father loved you very much, Jeremiah. Jeremiah, go inside. Jeremiah? Jeremiah, get inside. Well, hello, ma'am. Gentleman lost. <laughs> Did you hear that, Turner? Yeah, I heard. <laughs> now, ma'am, if uh, you kindly oblige, we uh, are mighty hungry and our throats are a bit parched. If you could see fit to go and. Uh... Well, I'm sorry, but uh, as you can see, I'm in the midst of doing my washing. And my husband's due back in just a bit, so uh, I'm afraid that. I... Well. I think you ought to be. <laughs> no, don't pay no never mind, old Turner. Turner! Don't go scaring this fine lady. I do not walk with a spirit of fear. I think it's best if you just move on. Turner, I think we heard the lady. Good day.
Oh, I think it's going to be better than good. It's going to be better. <laughs> good. Oh. Baby, paradise. Come on, oh let's check it out. God. Come on. Come on. I, I don't think so. <laughs> it's beautiful. Come on, it's a little fixer upper. Rad. Come on. Come on, babe. Wow, this is awesome. It's not a good idea. Come on, baby. The place is ours. Thank you. You're doing research for what? I'm writing an article on why getting stoned will finally enable us as this we experience when we view visual violence. This is sick. That somebody out there can just pull up a picture like that. Most people will look at this and get on with their day. But if we're stoned, we'd stop, look, and think. Billy, pot's the answer. No, no. You know what the answer is? Getting an answering machine. That is the answer. I resent that. I gave into the cordless for your birthday. What more could you possibly want? Sonny, the phone. And stick that tongue back in or I'm gonna use it for good use. You didn't just say that. Sonny, the phone. Hello? Hey, Lehman. It's your fellow caveman. You want to grunt hello? 
What's up, Lehman? Yeah, of course we're packed. So check it out. Does your girlfriend smoke? You are so gross. Okay, we'll meet you out front. All right, later. So, uh, what did he say? Does his girlfriend smoke? He said she smokes his beef joint. Oh. So she smokes? Yeah. I can't wait to get out of here, baby. Breathe some fresh air, be one with nature. That's why I dig you. You are such the tree hugger. Mm. Hello, Kate. This is Rachel from Dr. Benderman's office. We have your test results, and it's important that you call us as soon as you get back to schedule another appointment. Thank you. back for last week. That's different. I'm naked and vulnerable in here. Yes, you are. You scared me so bad, you big meanie. Oh, I'm sorry. You're getting all wet. I don't care. Mmm. <laughs> I love your hands. We're gonna be late. Yep. <laughs> Hi, you've reached Kate and Johnny. We'd love to take your cow, but we're out milking a cow. Hey, what's up, you guys? It's me. Where are you? Anyway, sorry we're late, but we had to go back to Lehman's new flavor of the week's house. She forgot her Spice Girl CD, you guys. And, uh, yeah, she's coming with us. Anyway, her name is Heidi Triggers. She looks like a porn user. Anyway, I'm going on. We're getting gas right now. We'll see you soon. Be ready. All right. Johnny, hey. Yeah. Yeah, we're set to go. Yeah. Well, uh, we'll be out front, okay? We'll see you in a few. Okay. Bye-bye. Baby, they're gonna be here in 10 minutes. We gotta get going. <laughs> Yeah, Maggie. Sheriff, uh, we had a call come in from a small aircraft. He sees what seems to be uh, a vehicle underwater in the reservoir. Uh, copy that, Maggie. Send Russell out there with his boat and also send a tow truck out. Uh, uh, where's Kevin? Oh, he's tending to the toilet, Sheriff. Oh, it's all clogged up again. Do you want to speak to him? Uh, no, no, that, 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 that's okay. You trying to tell me I ain't strong enough to plunge? Why, when I was your age, I could take on three of your size all at the same time. I was strong as a bear. Well, you sure crap like one. I heard that, so you come back here. You know it's all those damn hot dogs you eat, Harold? Oh, hold on, Sheriff, he's right here. Kevin, Sheriff wants to talk to you. Yeah, Sheriff, this is Kevin. Uh, I got that toilet fixed, you know, like you wanted. It seems Harold was the culprit. Well, listen, that, that's fine, Kevin. I'm just going to need you to go on out to the reservoir and, and uh, check that call for me. Also, I, run, I want you to run a plate check on the uh, license. And I'm, I'm going to be at Grant's for a bit, and then I'll meet up with you at the reservoir. All right? Copy that. And, uh, Sheriff, I seem to have another missing persons report. It's a Brad Mitchell and a Jesse Scott. Uh, they're hikers. All right, I've got it. I'll see you at the reservoir. Over.
<laughs> Come on. So you're saying you wouldn't do it for a shitload of cash, Billy? No. I mean, the only high that I need comes in a plastic <laughs> baggie. I, I really think it's self-worship, man. Climbing a mountain? Please. Yeah, I'm with him. I wouldn't do it either. I mean, people must be bored. Mount Everest. Why? Guys, it's a spiritual quest. <sighs> spiritual? Frostbite's a bitch, man. I mean, the guy was a top surgeon and he loses his fingers? There's nothing spiritual about that. There I rest my case. The guy risks his life, he loses all of his body parts for something that's already been done. Johnny, tell him to deal with his nose. Oh, man. The nose? No, Lehman, not the nose. Come on, the nose, Johnny. What about the nose? All right. The nose? Got taken off. Frostbite. Now he's kind of got that, that Phantom of the Opera thing going, you know? Well, at least when he's 69 and a chick, his nose won't get stuck in her pooper. <laughs> <laughs> you suck your whack, man. Car box, box. Man, you're on a roll today, Lehman. Sheriff, this is this is crazy. What? I counted I counted 22 cars down there so far. Was there seeing any bodies? Uh, no, no, no bodies, sir. 22 cars down there. Well, you know, Russell, it can only be one thing. It has to be insurance scam, something like that, because this is a perfect place to hide vehicles. All right, Russell, here's what we do. I want to set up a temporary uh, vehicle compound here. I want to set up a perimeter all around this area, okay? We got to do this quick before the town folk get a hold of this, because as soon as they hear this, they're going to be out here like shit through a goose looking at all this. Oh, with all due respect, Sheriff, I mean, I, 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 I'm, not, I'm not too sure about this. I, I, I don't know what to do. I, I, I sell boats. I'm not in law enforcement. You want to help me, don't you? Yes, sir. Have you ever robbed a bank? Have you ever murdered anybody? Have you ever used heroin, marijuana, sheep? No, 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 sir. Okay, then you're deputized. I think am. you can handle it? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, I can. Well, by God, I appreciate it. All right. I, I'm in charge now, so let's get a move on. And, and, and be careful, because we don't want to circumcise the evidence. Russell uh, is compromised. Compromised. Oh. All, all, all right, you f you fine fine gentlemen. Let's let's pull us up some vehicles and 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 place them right right over here. Sheriff. Yeah, Maggie. Uh, where the hell is Kevin? I want his radio fixed today. I mean, this is a damn joke. Christ almighty. Look, I'm sorry, Maggie. Run this plate for me, okay? Harold! Will you please take these boxes and throw them in the trash? They have been sitting here for over a week now. You wish. That's all just from today. And besides, what does the shade of my skin look like to you? Well, what do I look like? Like a racist janitor. Well, what if I race my hand up to your behind? I bet that'll set off your fireworks. <laughs> Perv. What if I perv your curve? Oh, I get it. Better to speak to the hand than not the face. <laughs>
hungry. Okay, sweetie. Hey, you guys. How about we stop for a nice fat booger with cheese? Lehman, we just ate. I mean, I'm okay with stopping again, don't get me wrong. No offense, Heidi. But why don't we get something to eat when we stop for gas and we can kill two birds with one stone? Heidi, you uh, seem to have a healthy appetite. Hey, maybe she's pregnant, Papa. <laughs> Kate's right, Lehman. I'm fine, I can wait. So, Heidi, what do you like to smoke? Cigarettes, pot, or... I'm sorry, what was the question? Do you like to smoke cigarettes, pot, or... Well, that's it, cigarettes or pot. I smoke a little Mary Jane on occasion. Ooh, Mary Jane! Speaking of which, how's about a little Mary Jane for the driver? Yeah, pass the Mary Jane. Mary Jane coming right up. Don't let it bother you. Hey, baby, we're just playing. What's up with the rain? Anyone check the weather? It's supposed to clear up later. Well, I hope it does. Hiking in the rain sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Copy, Kevin. You, you have to give me a second to get to the to the handset, okay? Yeah, I was just checking in, sir. I, I'm back at the station. I was wondering if I should go to the reservoir now. I think that'd be a good idea. How's Mrs. Parsons? Oh, she's just banged up real bad. You know, the doc's taking x-rays. She might have hurt her hip. Shit, that's too bad. Look, I'll try to get over there and see her when I got time. Listen, any word on that uh, plate that I wanted to run? Uh, no, sir, the wires seem to be all tied up right now. What's your 20? Well, I'm about 30 miles from Fallbrook, heading up on the East Ridge. Make a stop. You head on out to the reservoir, and um, I'll meet you there. Copy that, sir. One more thing. I'm having Curtis install a new radio in my car, so I'll be mobile soon, sir. Well, that's good, Kevin. That's the best news I heard all day. Out.
estos. Are you sure about taking the back roads? Heidi, don't worry about it. I mean, we probably will get lost, but that has always been Lehman's contribution to our adventures. It's cool, puppy. I always know what I'm doing, even when I don't know what I'm doing. And you know, getting lost is part of the trip. So, you guys do this every year. When did you all start? Back in high school, junior year. Lehman was the only one with a car back then. Our first trip was to, woohoo, Lake Havasu. Ooh, insane! Insane! insane. <laughs> Ever since then, we made a pact to take these adventures together until we're old and gray or we die. Whichever comes first. And every year, one of us gets to pick a destination. No matter how outrageous it is, we all have to commit to it. This year, I picked great hiking, cool places to explore, horseback riding. Ooh, sounds rageous, don't it? Stop, it's gonna be fun. This year we almost didn't make it of what happened last year. Why? What happened? Billy. Well, we all went cave diving down in the Bahamas, and uh, Lehman got us lost. And uh, he was seeing this girl, uh, Janet. Anyway, uh, when we were down there, Janet got separated from us, and, uh, well, she never showed up at the surface. Her, uh, her body was never, uh, recovered. Billy, you're an asshole. Are you serious? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it, it messed him up. It messed us all up. I'm surprised he didn't tell you, Heidi. You guys, come on. Stop the car! Stop the car! I said stop the car! It's official. We're lost. Yeah! yeah. yeah. Woo! Yeah. Woohoo! Sorry, sweetheart. That was twisted. You had me there. You're all joking, right? Yeah, you're a good sport. Just part of the initiation. That was good, Billy. Just wait. It gets better. People are strange when you're a stranger. You know the song. Well, it's true. Hey, check out the primo sign. Chicken meat with every fill-up. Whoa. Hope the cooking's better than the spelling. Johnny, we're gonna go blaze up, man. Howdy, ladies. Excuse me. Could you tell me where your bathroom is, please? Oh, yes, ma'am. Uh, right down through there, in the back. Thanks. You wanna come? Sure. Kate, you okay? Yeah, why? That's nothing, it's nothing. Hmm. Howdy. I'm fried. Floyd fried. What y'all folks looking to get? Uh, 
How about you? Fill her up, please, Floyd. Hmm. Yes, sir. Oh, and hey, how about some of that free-fried chicken meat? Is it fresh? Fresh as she's gonna find these here parts. And seeing you got so many of you, I'm gonna give you a whole bucket full. Oh, well, that's mighty funny of you. Probably fried in motor oil. What's that? I said, while you're at it, you should probably check the motor oil. Oh, <laughs> no hurt, no harm. There, for just the teeniest twitch of folks' ass, I thought you was being a cocksucker. Oh, no. <laughs> Listen, I'm gonna get your chicken first off. Don't want to get my hand all dirty and then touch your food. We uh, pride ourselves in serving our travelers with the very best they is. was that? That was a loose piece of work. Why don't you go give him a hand? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Come on, man. Let's go. Let's throw some rock. Oh, wait, 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 wait. This morning, I overheard this message on my machine. The doctor was leaving a message about some test results and Kate and all this kind of stuff. She hasn't mentioned anything about it. Am I bugging? Yeah, it sounds bad. What should I do? No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Listen, it's, it's uh, no big deal. If it was serious, then I'm sure she'd tell you. Yeah, yeah chill out. Come on, go on. Go, uh, go John Holmes on me. <laughs> so when he came up and offered to pay for half my drink, I didn't know what to say. I just stood there thinking, this guy is either really cheap or pretty different. Yeah, he's definitely different. Ugh, that place was so disgusting. I know, it's creepy. I didn't let the toilet seat touch my legs. <laughs> I'm hiding it from Lehman. He doesn't know I smoke. New relationship stuff, you know? Right. So what do you do? I just got out of school. Oh, yeah? What were you majoring in? Special education. I work with autistic children during the day. Really? You sound surprised. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean for it to sound like that. That's OK. I get that all the time. I'm also a dancer. School loans, you know? <laughs> Just for the record, I dance in a bikini. <laughs> so what do you do? I'm working on my master's in psychology. Damn, Gina. So are you sizing me up? <laughs> no. Pride with pride. Oh, wow. Thanks. Hey, food's up. Pay them in. Oh, I was kicking chicken for it. Mmm, yeah, thanks. 18 on the pump. Mm, appreciate it. So, remember this aborigine I was telling you about from Hawaii? And he's got this house made out of solid weed. Well, in order to get into the house, you gotta have a password to get inside the house. And the password is Kobuki Sulfur, man. Oh my god! Travis, you're surely. You're looking at the chickens. Well, that mangy old maggot eating stray dog of mine had his way with the chickens, and I had to get rid of a lot of them. It's a shame. Would you like to snap one of them's neck? I got a lot out in the back. And the minute they die, you can smell the rabies leave their body. It's spectacular. Your girlfriend's not feeling good. I want you to take this chicken wing. Give me your hand here. It's not hard. Take the chicken wing, it's soft, and use it as a suppository. Leave it in for 10 minutes, it'll take you out of your misery. Go behind that truck, you'll be hidden. Go ahead, tell her to go. You know what's good about that suppository? When she farts, it's gonna smell like southern fried chicken. You hold that in your heart.
Thank you. You know those city folk? They just don't know how. How to what? Everything. <laughs> Look at that! Look! You know! Smart out like you bad manners, you can forgive that. But now wastefulness, that's his sin. Oh my gosh. You know, they ain't nothing but the devil's play birdies. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that plane's gonna take me to Brazil. Listen, I'm not ready to let you go. Well, I'm I might need have. you here. I need you right here now. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. You just tell that plane, you know, just, we, we don't want you going nowhere, especially to Brazil. Well, there's a lot of monkeys down there. You know what you can do with him? Yeah, but... Think about it. <laughs> hey, you want to take me with you? We both go to Brazil. Okay. Play with the monkeys, huh? Play with monkeys. <laughs> Put bananas in hidden places. <laughs> I got diarrhea. I'm going to go there. Sheriff, are you there? Copy, Maggie. We got an ID on the plate you wanted, Ron. The vehicle's registered. Copy that, Maggie. Listen, get Kevin on the horn and tell him that I'm going back out to the East Ridge. I think I might have found our missing hikers. Out. Maggie? Definitely something going on here. Do me a favor and uh, call my wife, would you? I'll call your wife right now, Sheriff. Over now. Mitchell! Scott! Anybody there? Mitchell?
You okay? Hell no, I'm not okay. I got a hot dog meat coming out of my nose. You didn't have to push so hard, damn you. Look at all the mess you made. Like, come on, here. Uh, I mean, what do you think? What does it look like to you? It looks like a whole bunch of spilled ketchup to me. It doesn't look like a whole bunch of spilled ketchup. It looks like a dead body was dragged in here. That's what it looks like to me. You smoke that silly tobacco, don't you? Uh, why didn't you take a big whiff? Smells like a damn catsup farm in here. Okay, let's just drop it, all right? Where's Maggie? Sure, I'll drop it. The town folks are gonna have a field day. Harold, I already asked you, where's Maggie? Nah, Maggie had her choir practice. Left about 20 minutes ago. Have you heard from the sheriff? Ah, uh, call of some kind come over about five minutes before you come in. Well, was it the sheriff? I don't know. Nothing but a <laughs> sound like maybe the radio was broke or something. Figures. I get mine fixed, maybe his is broken. All right, we'll stop right here and hike in. Quite the Johnny on the spot, aren't we? Sorry. I don't believe this. I don't believe this. Sheriff, this is Kevin, over. Sheriff, this is Kevin. I don't know if you can hear me, but we got a problem here. Sheriff, this is Kevin, over. Damn, where are you? I don't know if you can hear me. There might be something wrong with your radio, but the place from the cars in the reservoir match most of the names in the missing report file. Over. I'll be waiting for you at the station. Over. You know what this reminds me of? What? That movie with those werewolves in London and those... American two... Werewolf in London. Yeah, that was the first movie my dad took me to. Oh, sweet. Hey, how is your dad doing? Business kid? He's doing all right as long as people keep dying. <laughs> Wait, what's that supposed to mean? My dad's a mortician. When we were kids, we used to play around in there, play Dr. Frankenstein. That sounds really creepy. Ah, uh, we didn't know any better. We were just kids. No, there was this one time, though, man. Night Stalker. Remember him? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I almost forgot about that. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, so... Uh. So it's like... <laughs> <laughs> <It> all escapes. <laughs> hey, man. You were such a chicken shit, you know that? I mean, I remember what you said to me. You know, Lehman, where is he? He was here like a second ago. He, he stopped to tie his shoes. Lehman? Lehman? Lehman! Don't worry about it. Look, I'm going to go back and look for him, all right, guys? No, 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 no. I think we should all go. It's getting dark, and I don't want to wait around. I agree. Let's go back, because personally, I think he's messing with us. Here we go again. Check it out. Oh, God. Oh, God. Heidi, don't worry, okay? We're gonna find him. Yeah, just relax, Heidi. He pulls this shit all the time. Why don't we chill here for a minute? Lehman! Lehman! Stop screwing around! Come on, you guys, you know how he is. He's screwing around. Did you guys hear that? Come on out, layman. He hates that. We used to call him that in high school. Look, he'll come running out any second now. I don't think 
that Slee in my face. Heidi, no! What's up? I'm glad I found you. You dick! You're sick! How could you do this to me? Dick? What are you, brain dead? You scared the shit out of her. Whoa, kick back, Tyson. What are you talking about? Where was he? You're right, Billy. It was him. You're all whacked. I'm not having fun. I want to go home. My lungs are on fire. <laughs> Just wait a damn minute here. Wait for what? You keep pulling this shit. Somebody's gonna get hurt, Lehman. It's too late. Sprain my ankle. See? Are you okay, my little bud? Such a shithead, man. I can't believe this. What are you blaming me for? I didn't do anything. That's bullshit. Leaving your pack in the middle of the path, knowing we'd stumble across it and go looking for your sorry ass? The whole time you're fucking jacking off in the woods? We talked about this, Lehman. You promised me you wouldn't pull this shit. And I didn't. I bent down to tie my shoe, I saw a rabbit. Oh, please. I swear, you guys. I took off my pack and went after it. I started going in the other direction and I got all turned around and shit. I thought I lost you guys. I wasn't playing around, though, I mean it. I just wanted to surprise everyone. Figured we'd have rabbit for dinner. A rabbit? How could you even catch a rabbit, Lehman? The growling, Urgh, that was a real nice touch. Lame. I swear it. Growling. Guys, listen, I didn't do anything, okay? Now, while I was out there, I, I think I saw a cabin or something over in that area over there. We should check it out. We need to keep warm and Sunny needs to put her foot up. Let's just get our packs. Hey, Squeeze. You okay? Yeah. You? I'm sorry. Wow. Cool. Wow, this is funky. <laughs> yeah. This is killer. Hey, Lehman. If there is anybody living here, they're probably asleep. Come on, let's go. I don't think anyone lives here. It looks deserted. Check it out. It's got a fireplace. A score. I don't think we should go in. Oh, come on. We've got nothing to worry about. I'm just going to sneak a little peek, OK? Ah. All right. Who's coming with me? I'll go. Be careful. Oh, God. Would you quit that? So dramatic. Look. I say we crash out here and just leave first thing in the morning, all right? Hey, Billy, toss me your leg. <laughs> oh, shit, what the hell was that? I don't know. I think I got pudding in my wares. I'm sorry, you guys, but I've had enough of this shit. Then just get in there and get it over with. Ooh, sassy. I know when you're like that, baby. Show on fire. Come on, then. Come on. What do you think? Well, I don't think anyone lives here. Ooh. Oh, sweet. Hey, Lehman. Check it out. It looks like blood. Blood. These, these people are trappers. Ain't no thing but a chicken on a string. Hey, don't say chicken. Right. <laughs> hey, sorry going. Uh, sorry for going off on you out there, man. That was uncool. You know. Don't worry about it, bro. It's cool. Yeah. Right. Let's go tell them this place is all empty. Yeah. Oh, hey, check this out. 
It's kidding, it's empty. Sweet fireplace. I think we should just chill here for night. Just gotta put that foot up. Yeah, it sounds good. My foot is killing me, you guys. Okay, I'm in. Babe? Yeah, okay then. But you don't. I swear, I'll keep you comfy, cuz. Alright, wait, you guys. What if the someone comes home? Oh, it's dead in there. No one lives there. And if someone does come home, we'll, we'll just deal with it. Hey, guys. I'm gonna go look for some wood. We can have a campfire. Cake in. Good idea. I'll go with you. Okay. Here, Billy. Thanks. Hey, break out the lantern. I think she's nice. She's insecure. She's got all this deep-rooted pain, you know? Did you see how she panicked? That's not normal. I think that her pain... Stop it. You said you'd leave your work at home. No, no psychoanalyzing anybody, no probing into people's issues. What are you so upset about? I'm just a little on edge. Why? Well, gee, I don't know, Kate. I mean, normally you tell me when you go to the doctor's. This morning, Dr. Bindeman leaves a message on the machine saying, Something about test results. I mean, what's that about, Kate? God. Oh, God, what? What are the results about, Kate? I, I was just having some blood work done, that's all. For what? Well, I don't know if I was ready to tell you. Oh, yeah. Now you have to tell me. Come on, what's going on, Kate? Johnny, I just I wanted to be sure before I said anything. Why are you going to tell me? Kate, come on, you're scaring the shit out of me. What's going on, baby? Is everything OK? You sick? Only in the mornings. You're pregnant? Well, it's not 100% sure yet, but it's pretty close. Oh, thank God. That's, this is amazing. Are you mad? No. I'm sorry. No, don't be sorry. That's crazy. I'm just glad you're all right. This is beautiful, man. Really? You OK with it? <laughs> yeah. Well, I, it's a little sooner than I expected, but yeah. Yeah. Shit, I need a cigarette. You know, you're gonna have to smoke outside after the baby comes. That sounds so weird, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. My God, you're pregnant. Come here. I love you, baby. I wasn't half bad. Well, it wasn't half good either. I liked it. It sort of tasted like Rabbit. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to tell me? Well, me and Johnny are gonna have a baby. Hmm? You're pregnant? Well, Beth, you're pregnant? Oh, wow. oh my God! All right, bro. Oh, congrats. Oh, congrats. Oh, congrats. Oh, congrats. That's oh, big time. Oh, oh, baby, shit. um. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> okay. For the special occasion. I want Billy to read his new poem. It is the end. Oh, okay. Sorry, baby. Party's out. Okay, I'm gonna go freshen up. This doesn't have a title. Say it loud enough so I can hear, okay? I'll leave the door open. If only I could set free that which is written upon my heart's soul. Weeping fate is held close to my bosom, for it is where all of life's tragedies converge. Fear not the pondering dualities of life. Those are which are summoned against you. You can and will conquer the forces one has to face. As the focus of your eyes, the mourners and moon are mirrored upon you. You are vulnerable, for they are one and the same. Relinquish the things you most cherish, as death is the beholder of all truths in your nakedness. Death only knows what its victims last see. The purity of life, however, rises above the demiser, 
the forsaker of breath, putting the rest to spinning thoughts, the robber of moments. If only they were let go of, trail behind like grains of dark sand to bid them an adieu. I don't know what the hell you just said, but it made me real horny. Die. You guys! Heidi! I'm sorry, baby, but that was just a ridiculous scream. Wow, this is beginning to be quite a trip. Everything <clears throat> okay? Uh, yeah. Wait a minute, baby. Just please get it out of here. Dessert, anyone? Oh, ew. <laughs> All right, come on, little guy. Here you go, little fella. Okay. Yay. Me too, baby. Oh, thank you for this. <laughs> About the forward. <laughs> I'm so sorry about that, you guys. I just, I'm really scared of mice. Hey, you guys, we're gonna uh, take a little walk so I don't wake it up. Okay. Would you just help me inside? Just help me inside. I am freaking out out here. Are you okay? You know, with what happened before we found the cabin? Yeah, I'm fine. I had a very emotional experience in the forest when I was younger. Sometimes it still haunts me. Do you want to talk about it? Not really. Do you mind? I just want to enjoy the moment with you not go there right now. Sure. Hey, Sunny, how's your foot? Can I get you anything? No, I'm fine, thanks. I mean, it hurts, but I'm cool. You guys want to tell uh, scary stories? No. That's so typical. Yeah, that's exactly what everybody else would do. I mean, it's so perfect with the candles and the fire. Well, maybe just one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, this is fun. I wish we had s'mores. Okay, Billy. You got a good story for us? Well, no, not really. Why'd you bring it up then? Well, I would like to hear someone else tell a story for a change. I've got one. Oh, this is gonna be good. When he talks like that... It's about this guy. He calls himself the Empty Man. You shit, I'm scared already. He's an EMT, emergency medical technician. Killed 27 people. How? Well, it all started when his fiance dies, the love of his life, right? She needed a new heart and there were no organ donors. So anyway, her death not only causes him to go completely insane, but it spawned this incredible hatred towards non-donors. Took him like a year and a half before he finally went back to work. And that's when his quiet massacre began. Why? I mean, what was his trip? Well, I already told you he was an EMT, right? He would show up on the scene of an accident and he'd go through their stuff and find their ID and he'd check for that little pink dot. The donor sticker. Right. These people are still alive, right? Well, if they had that little pink dot, they'd stay that way. But if they didn't, he'd take one out and put it on it. Shit. It's gnarly. Remember, he's got a partner, so he's got to be really careful, right? So what he does is he gets an empty hypodermic needle. And he injects it into their neck, which causes air to go into the bloodstream. Makes the heart go into cardiac arrest, okay? So then he tries the CPR. He's rubbing the fibrillator paddles, trying all that, all just for show. 
Wow. Yeah. So anyway, his partner starts to get suspicious, okay? I mean, month after month, people are dying of injuries that are not that serious, so the authorities start an investigation. They exhume the bodies of all the people that died in this care. Every single one of them had a puncture mark from a hypodermic needle and their hearts were torn out. And he confesses to 17 murders, all from accident victims. And get this, 10 more, all of them women. And when they go to his house, they find buckets of dried cement with chopped up body parts. He's also got this little fish tank, but there's no little fishy swimming around in there. It's filled with formaldehyde, and it's floating 27 hearts. Wow. Well, they can't say he was a heartless bastard. That's psychotic. <laughs> Strange. Why the empty man? Well, he was an EMT. E plus M hyphen T, EMT, MT, MT, right? When his fiance died, he said he just felt empty inside, thus the empty man. It's sad and gruesome at the same time. Strange. I mean, he probably saved some lives as a result of the murders. Irony melts like cold, hot steel this evening. Isn't that an oxymoron? <laughs> no. It's actually beginnings of a new piece of work. That's what this is. Ooh, my baby's gonna create, give birth to a new piece of work. Like you guys. I'm so happy for you guys. Well, I'm tired, you guys. I go sleep, sleep, night, night. When I was growing up, my father and I had a special place we would go. This is back home in Michigan. It was a forest like out of a fairy tale. A beautiful, magical place. He loved it there. One day when we were out there, he told me he'd have to be going away soon. He told me that he had cancer. A week later when he disappeared, I knew in my heart where I'd find him. I went out to our spot and found him laying on his favorite blanket with an empty bottle of Secondals. After they took him away, I sat there for hours and told him everything I ever wanted to tell him. Understood. He didn't want to wither away. He had a lot of pride. I never went out there again. That's why it's weird for me being out here. He was my best friend. I'm so sorry. I, I learned one thing from all of that. What? That everything is temporary. No matter how you try to keep things the same, they grow and evolve into something else. I'm sorry, I know I'm getting all heavy on you. Hey, I can handle anything. The only thing I can't handle is my bladder. <laughs> my teeth are floating, would you excuse me for a minute? Put your shoes on, I don't want you to get hurt. Oh, look at that. Getting all maternal on me. <laughs> okay. Right Sheriff, this is Kevin, over. Sheriff, this is... Damn it! I just 
had the scariest dream. So beautiful. to take you on a trip. That's what we're doing. No, no, I mean, just you and me, just the two of us. Where do you want to go? I don't know, somewhere exciting and adventurous, like uh, Barsta. <laughs> no, like uh, Bali or Prague, maybe down the Mississippi. Billy. Billy. Can you take that outside? I don't want you to smoke out Kate. With the baby, you know? I'm sorry. I, I wasn't thinking. Oh, well, that's cool. Don't wait up for me, you guys. It's, you know, it's all cooking up here. Good night, bro. Night. See you later. Before me, her legs stood there with my beating heart.
you hear that? What's that, sweetheart? I heard a noise. It's already 2.30. I wonder where Lehman and Heidi are. I'm gonna go see if they're okay. I'm right back. I want you to cuddle up with me. Okay, baby. Come on. Lieben and Heidi. Where are you guys? Whoa, 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 it's buddy, coming. back off! Back off in your car! Coming. You don't understand! Back, back off! You're gonna fucking no. kill me, Heidi! No. Back off! Yeah, back off! Give me that no! No! no. What the hell's going on tonight? Damn! Demon and Heidi! Where are you guys? Come on, you guys, it's getting cold. It's like 2.30 in the morning. Heidi. Where's Lehman? Heidi, wake up. What's going on? I don't know. I just heard Johnny scream. Look, stay here. I'll be right back. Kate, be careful. <laughs> Baby? Kate! <laughs> Baby, where are you? Kate! Johnny, where are you? Kate, I'm over here! Ah. Ah. Johnny! What ah. happened? What's wrong? Ah. Oh, my God, honey, no! Ah. What do I do? Get something to pry it off! Okay. Ah. <laughs> That is quite a story. We've got to get back out there before my friends get killed. You think I'm lying? Look at me. Would I do this to myself? Anything's possible. And why'd you go for my gun? I told you I was in shock. That guy was going to fucking kill me. We don't need to talk like that, OK? I don't give a shit. We need to get back out there. Listen to me. Let me explain something for a second, OK? Things like this just don't happen in this town. Just let me think.
Why are you doing this? We're not to mix with the outside world. Nobody knows about us out here. Nobody ever will. This will be a hard life, but it's so very worth it. Can you maybe take this off? Okay. All right, I want you to put your hands to the bars. Please, I swear to God, I'm telling you the truth. Look, this is all real hard to swallow. And I'm shaking inside because I got a real bad feeling about this. And if I don't cuff you, and you do something stupid, I might just blow your head off. Then we'd both be sorry. So put your hands to the bars. It's hurting me. Underneath the cabin? Oh, it's about to be light. You know, you run out of time. We gotta keep driving. We gotta keep driving. You don't understand. These are my best friends. Is my boyfriend outside okay? I mean, is he hurt? Maybe I could just go outside and check on him. I mean, would you let me do that? Please don't do this. OK, OK, it's OK. God, why are you doing this? They're in the cabin, okay? Check on Sonny. <laughs> oh, God, I'm in bad shape, baby. Neither one is that guy. What's going on? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, but... Go, baby. Johnny, come on. No, I can't make it. No, you don't Go, have to make it. Go, come on. Johnny, I'm not leaving you. Baby, you have to make it. I love you. Go! Take you back in. I hope you got a good lawyer. Please, I'm telling you, it's got. There it is. There's my truck. I see it. I see it. All right. I want you to stay here. No. What do you mean? I gotta go with no. you. All right. Uh, guess you know where the cabin is. Is no use wasting any more time. All right. Come on. Let me out. You gotta help me out. All right, it's just over here. What the? Oh, shit. Hey, you gotta take these off me. Shh. Maybe she's gonna kill us. Shut like up. I'm not playing with you, okay? You go. I'm sorry. 